Hi everyone, and welcome to Dan's Destinations. This is our guide to the Grampians, a national park located about 3 hours east of Melbourne. It is famous as a tourist destination for bushwalking, hiking and camping. In this video, we will be visiting some of the most iconic and beautiful landmarks in the area, including Halls Gap, the Pinnacle, Silent Street, Bridal Vale Falls and the Grand Canyon. Also, if you find our guide useful, please do consider liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Last spring, I took the opportunity to visit the Grampians with my cousin Craig. We started our drive from Melbourne, passing by Ballarat and Ararat before arriving at Halls Gap. Halls Gap is the main town situated in the Grampians. The town was named after William Hall, who established a sheep farm there in the 1840s. The town has grocery stores, restaurants and many hotels, caravan parks and camping grounds to supply all the needs of its visitors. We have booked our accommodation at Tim's Place, which provides very nice cabins near the centre of the town. The cabin we had consisted of one bedroom, a bunk bed in the main hall, and a separate shower room. The kitchen is located outside with a small fridge and electric cooktop. Overall, it was very clean and served our needs. In the morning, the cockatoos like to forage in the gardens. And beside the cabins, you will find an open field where the kangaroos congregate during the morning and evenings. For our first night's dinner, we reheated some lasagna with some salad. We started our journey early in the morning at the Wonderlands car park and caught some of the morning fog along the way. The main highlight of the Grampians is the Pinnacle, a balcony overlooking Hall's Gap that is accessible via a 1-2 to two hour hike each way depending on your route and fitness. There are two routes up, one via the Sandal Car Park and the other via Wonderland Car Park. The Sandal Car Park route is the easier route, but the Wonderland Car Park route has more scenic sights along the way. The first sight along the route is the Grand Canyon. However, the lookout point was closed for maintenance work. The Grand Canyon is a stunning chasm that has been carved out over millions of years, located about 400 meters from the car park. It's a must-see for anyone visiting the Grampians and offers a unique perspective of the area's geological history. Moving on, we continue our hike up and it's easy to lose your way unless you keep an eye out for the marker arrows on the ground. Our next stop was at the Cool Chamber, which is a small alcove with a small running creek. This is the Cool Chamber. Yeah. It's easy to imagine the Aborigines using it for a rest stop and to stock up on water.
Next, we arrive at the Bridal Veil Falls, which is a small waterfall cascading over an overhang. The walking track travels right beneath the waterfall, crossing a gorgeous shallow pond. A sloping cavity in the rock allows you to climb in behind the waterfall for some nice photos. After that, we arrive at Silent Street, which is a narrow gorge which at certain points is so narrow that only one person can pass. Some days it can be fairly windy as you approach the pinnacle, and the still quiet air within the silent street provides a respite from this. This narrow pass can be a problem during the latter part of the day as there will be crowds of people trying to head up, but at the same time there will be groups of people trying to pass downward on the return journey. There is one exceptionally narrow area where we had to take off our bags just to squeeze through. After silent street, it was just a short final push to make it to the pinnacle. It was an immense relief when we made it to the top. That's the pinnacle. We made it to the top. <laughs> I do recommend that you pack light for this hike and bring water, a hat and wear sunblock. I was quite tired when I reached the top due to all the camera equipment I was carrying. The iconic pinnacle lookout is the highlight of the entire Grampians region. Hikers are rewarded with a stunning view of Paul's Gap and the Grampians' many peaks. It is a must-visit for all those who love nature and breathtaking landscapes. The lookout point can be very crowded later in the day, so it is much better to visit early in the morning before the crowds arrive. Also, if you arrive early enough, you can catch a very beautiful sunrise. After this, we hiked back to the car and headed into Hall's Gap for lunch, where we visited Paper Scissors Rock Brew Company, a bar and brewery. Their beer is brewed fresh on site, and their core brands are available all year around. Craig had their house fried squid, while I had the fried buttermilk chicken burger, served with maple slaw. The food and drink were delicious, especially after a long morning hike. And this concludes our guide for today. The following is a preview of the next part of our Grampians guide. Thanks for watching and I hope this inspires you to visit the Grampians as well.